Today I'm closing up on this series that I've been doing talking about the importance of today. The importance of seizing the moment and maximizing the moment. I know this one sounds a lot of cliche but if I can even myself take these lessons and apply these lessons to any area of my life, maybe even in my finances, in my relationships, in my business, in anything that I do, in my physical fitness, if I take this lesson that I'm teaching you and apply it to them on a daily basis, let me tell you, we will see revolutions in this world because one of the most potent days of our lives is the day that we are in today and there are very many things that we keep pushing away for tomorrow and tomorrow never comes and today always dies that's the biggest paradox in life and so we're closing this podcast i mean this series in discussing one of the benefits of doing stuff today even when we are unprepared stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. One of the things about us human beings is that we are not perfect. In fact, we do have very many areas where we need to work on, areas where we are weak, areas where we need help. But you know our biggest problem is this, that we do not want to get that help today. See, you have a shaky relationship, but you are thinking at some time, you know, in the future, the conducive environment will come and then the relationship will be mended. You're having funny finances and you're thinking sometimes in the future I will land a good job or maybe I'll land a contract and that's when I will start making good financial decisions. You have a belly and you don't, you're not supposed to have it. I mean, your belly is increasing every single day because you're not working out. But you have this idea that sometime in the future when the COVID season is over, I'll go to the gym and that's when I will start working out. So you find that the most forgotten day is the day of action, which is today. The most forgotten day is the day that normally passes, normally dies. And then the most looked forward to day is tomorrow, which never comes. It never comes from the moment you're born to the moment you die. Tomorrow never comes. It's always tomorrow. It's always in the future. It's always tomorrow. There's always going to be a tomorrow. But today is forgotten and today is the moment of action. Today is the moment of change. Today is the moment of decision. But we don't do it today because we want to work on our weaknesses first in the future. By the way, tomorrow. Let me work on my weaknesses first tomorrow. And then I will change and then I will take action. Let me just, you know, uh, clean myself up and then I'll go back to God. You know, let me just uh, do, wait for the season to pass, wait for, wait for the emotions to pass. Or let me wait for the emotions to come. Or let me wait for the information to come. Or let me wait for someone, maybe a cousin of mine or sister of mine, to get into that project, into, into that department. And then I will make my move. Let me wait, you know, until the motivation comes and the fear goes. And then I will make my move. And it's a trap, friends. It never comes. It keeps being promised. It's always being promised. And yet it arrives on a daily basis. And that day that it has arrived, it is forgotten. And it is taken, you know, being oblivious of the fact that 
today is the most powerful day today you can say you're sorry it is in today that you can you know eat humble pie and be vulnerable and start working on that thing that you're supposed to work on today is the day that you can start writing that book today is the day that you can start singing that song today is the day that you can start preparing that spoken word today is the day that you can go back to school today is the day that you can go and knock on the doors and sell today is the day that you can schedule a meeting with the CEO today is the day that you can send that email it happens today not tomorrow don't wait for conditions to be right don't wait for things to turn out conducively before you can act and we've been saying that when you do go out there today make a decision or take action today even when you're unprepared even when you feel afraid even when you have less information even when you don't have anyone in the inside to help you and you make the decision and you take the action the following things are going to accrue to you number 1 you will get this is one of the most powerful you will get first hand information than you will never get in any university or in any school because you are involved your hands are on deck your hands are on the plow you are right in the midst of the thing you are happening and when you are happening my friend what happens is that you get information that you will never have gotten and this is invaluable data data this is invaluable information that you can work with you see when you publish your book for the first time you have absolutely no clue how the markets are on how to do books and so on and so forth but the feedback you're going to get from the first time you do that book you know the mom the moment you stand up to to speak i remember joining those masters for the first time and i thought i was a big time orator and i got feedback one of the beautiful things about those masters is that we do evaluations we evaluate people's speeches and we tell you you excelled in this you can improve prove in this and I thought you should do this and I thought you should do that and you get feedback you will never get that feedback if you don't do something about it you've got to go out there today to get the feedback that you need because like I said yesterday there's something called course correction you use the feedback that you've gotten and you go back and do something else with the feedback that you have otherwise you will not grow the second advantage of doing it today is that you reveal yourself to yourself you are so hidden and you are so fake when you don't attempt when you don't risk you are so fake the fake you the comfortable you is always being peddled when things are okay and things are you know cozy and rosy and you sitting back and you're doing absolutely nothing that is the fake you the real you is waiting to be born when you take action and you make decisions even when you're not ready even when you feel like there's no one to help even when you feel like there is no support even when you feel afraid even when you feel like there's less information but the real you is revealed in the circumstances when you do take action that notwithstanding so you reveal yourself to yourself you know what you are made up of if you wanted to know what you're made up of take action today i mean today 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 and then number 3 you will develop unprecedented courage when you do take action today even when you are afraid even when you're not ready courage comes through action it doesn't come when you're sitting back and waiting it comes when you do take action so take action and let courage band wagon on you in a big time and number 4 you will gravitate towards your purpose when you do take action today you're actually a day closer to your purpose when you start uh, taking action than when you start wait than when you sit back and wait for things to be perfect before you can take action it will lead you towards either the path and for the most part it will put you on the path of purpose because you're going to discover purpose down the line maybe days down the line maybe sometimes years down the line or maybe weeks down the line depending on your hunger depending on your consistency but don't waste the day don't waste today go out there and do something today and related to what we shared yesterday number 5 If you're going to do action, take action today and do something instead of waiting and postponing, you're going to unlock your inner resources that you are all along, you know, oblivious that you hate. They are lying dormant. Let me tell you the most 
dormant resource you ever saw on the face of the earth is not the coal or the gold or the diamonds and whatever natural mineral resources that we have and they're all the most dormant resource you ever saw on the face of the earth is the human resource because people don't rise up people postpone the more people postpone for the day the more dominant their natural abilities and their natural inner resources remain untapped remain unmoved remain untested and untried and unproven and you will never grow up to the man you're supposed to be, to the woman you're supposed to be by procrastinating to tomorrow. But when you do it today, even when there is no information, I'll keep insisting on those parameters. Even when there is no information, even when you have no one in the inside to help you, even when you feel that there's no unction inside of you, even when you know you feel like there is less information involved and so on, when you do that this notwithstanding you take action you are going to unlock your inner resources that were all along lying dormant i see this on a daily basis especially when i'm trying to write an article and i've never you know written that article before and maybe i've never thought about it and it's 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 a bit difficult but i've figured that when you start moving that's when you start unlocking what you're good at. It starts flowing naturally. You don't wait for the flow before you start moving. I was telling my friend the other day that at times I get onto the moment of the flow. But the moment of the flow comes because I took some action today and I'm consistent. When you sit back and wait until the information is going to come, until someone calls you, until you feel just right to do it, this is what you're doing. You are putting away those inner gifts, those inner talents, those inner resources that could otherwise be unlocked in the moment of action. You reveal yourself to yourself, like I said earlier on, you reveal yourself to yourself and you realize, hey, wait a minute, I'm good at this. I'm good at that. I could have done that. And you see, you start getting your own feedback on what you're good at, on your strengths. And you even get in feedback on the things that you're not so good at. Believe me, you have to be crazy as of now in order to grow, in order to mature, in order to conquer. It has got to be today. I mean, there are very many things that we are weak at. There are very many things that we're not good at. But we will never reveal those things to ourselves if we don't act. And we will never unearth those things that we are good at if we don't act, if we keep postponing. So what have we been postponing? I mean, what have we been laying ahead? What have we been saying to ourselves? And I've been asking myself in these episodes, you know, previous episodes, I've been saying, when you postpone something to tomorrow, say you wanted to write an article today, and you postpone that article writing for tomorrow. What are you doing in this in the place of the writing article today? What have you replaced that action with? That is where you're supposed to ask yourself these questions. Chances are, for the most part, that you've replaced that activity of writing, tasking your mind to grow your, your gift and your talent of writing, you've replaced it with something less endearing, less inspiring, less, you know, feeling of growth and, 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 uh, and upward mobility. You've re- replaced it with something that is speaking to your comfort. You've replaced it with something that speaks to your, you know, coziness. And, and, and that's just all about that. And that doesn't help you to grow. That doesn't help you to mature. So do it today. I remember some time back, I never thought I ever that I could even write. I never thought I could write, let alone write for an international website such as Influensive. I never thought I could do that. But then I just made a decision, let me start writing. And the first thing I wrote the first day I wrote, like I told you some episodes back, the first article you're going to write is not going to be a masterpiece. Never, ever. It wasn't a masterpiece. I, I, I can take you back to it. If you go to my my blog, lifesignatures.life slash blog, and you look at the very first article written, it is the shortest and most uncoordinated article ever. Compared with what I've just written today, 
I mean, there's a heaven not difference. And even going further, I am now able to write for other people, other websites. I'm now a contributor at Influensive. That happened because on a particular day called today, I threw in the towel. I mean, I drew a line in the sand. I threw my heart in the ring and said, I'm writing. And I've never looked back because my inner resources were unlocked. Thank me later. Just do it today. Go for it today. Stop looking back. Stop, you know, looking for excuses. Stop waiting. You're never going to be perfectly ready. I mean, you're never going to be perfect even when you start. Just do it and just open yourself to the fact that the first try is going to be drab. It's going to be substance. It's going to be whatever it's going to be, but it's actually something. Let me tell you, in these episodes that I've done, there are 460 plus episodes that I've done in this podcast. Do you know there are some of them that are so pathetic? But they are 460 in number. That's quantity. It counts for something. When I'm telling people I have 500 episodes on my podcast, I mean, are they going to say, but one of them is lousy? One of them? No. Today matters because today contributes to the 500. And so on and so forth. So keep doing what you can be able to do in the present and in the moment and today. And don't look back. So we come to a close of this series and probably we're going to allude to it even as we continue in the succeeding episodes. But friends, if we wanted a revolution in our lives, guess what? It happens in the day. And I would like to invite myself to start considering today as the most potent weapon that I do have that I can be romantic today, that I can be faithful today, that I can be scrupulous today, that I can be developmental today, not tomorrow, that I can grow and develop today, not tomorrow. Same with you. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor, Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University, found at mastermindmentor.com, who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.